Welcome back. Now, award-winning actress Zikona Sodlaka celebrates 18 years of making South Africans laugh and cry through the various characters she's played. She recently has been crowned Best Actress in a TV series at the National Film and TV Awards. That was obviously for her role in The Wife. And to mark her milestone in the arts, she now is bringing us the Art Circle podcast. She joins me now to tell us all about it. But before we do, here's a sneak peek of what you can expect. Shut the front door. I remember you from Italy. Well, the actress and host of the new Art Circle podcast, Sikona Sodlaka, joins us now. Welcome to you, and thank you so much for joining us here on Newsnight. Thank you so much for having <laughs> me. It's my pleasure. I love the outro line of your podcast intro stating, know your worth. I love Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Is that important to you? Oh, 100%. I mean, how, how does a person operate in the most ultimate if they don't know their worth? Mm -hmm. It's important for us to know it. And when we forget it, somebody's got to remind us of it. 100%. Yeah. So best actress in a TV series at the National Film and TV Awards for 2023. Yep. What a milestone. Also 18 years in the industry. You're just hitting these milestones, aren't you? 100%. How does it feel? It's a good time. Mm -hmm. It's a good time. I keep on thinking... I think the tide is changing and it's it's going back to being the time of the original. The originals are, <laughs> are almost, we're, we're, we're coming back, we're coming back with the bang. The industry is, is celebrating the people that have been here for a while. As it should. It's a beautiful time As for the should. field of the arts. I mean, so I, I'm so happy to, to be celebrating, but I am not just celebrating alone. I'm celebrating with some of my favorite artists as well, who are also being recognized, who are also being loved, who are also getting their flowers while they're still alive. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I love that. Yeah. So I, I know that you're celebrating. 18 years in the industry but I want to take it back let's do it to the beginning let's where your love and passion for the arts started did you always know that this was going to be it for you I mean, look I mean I, I did have an idea that that the arts were ultimately my fate but never did I think in this in this magnitude and in this way never did I think that I, I wanted to be a musician <laughs> I thought if I ever would get into the arts, I'd probably be a dancer and musician. I didn't think about the acting bug, yeah. but it turns out it is what it is. You know, I'm in, in, in the beginning, I, 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 I've been saying recently, somebody held me by hand and took me to my first audition, mm. and it's been fate ever since. So Beautiful. before that day, I had no idea. But you're just so dynamic. It seems Thank as you. if it was inevitable to be. But talking about... Being, wanting to be a musician, you actually did the Masked Singer and I you did. did so well. I had no idea that you were the fox. Like, I couldn't have guessed it, but your voice is beautiful. Thank you so, so you could much. be a singer. And Jay no. Something felt the same, so. No, Jay Something <laughs> made my year. He was just like, that's my favorite musician. And I don't think he was paid to say that. <laughs> no, he wasn't. It's interesting. It's interesting how life. Um, turns out the way it's supposed to turn out. I, I you know, I mean, I, I, I say it candidly, this music thing, but. I'm no musician, you mm -hmm. know, and when that show found me, The Masked Singer, and it turns out to be one of the fan, um, The Fox was one of the fan favorites. I was just like, really? The though? costume I, was stunning. There, there is a level where I'm just like, I think people are just being kind to me. No, I don't but, think so. I don't think but so. But there could be. So is it ever something you, you think of actively pursuing music? I think life is short enough. Mm -hmm. to pursue every single talent that one has. 100%. But so as of this year, I think it's been affirmed to me that maybe I should play around with music. Yeah, I think you should. Thank you, I, I will. You <laughs> so I want to talk about, before we get into your brand new venture, yes. I want to talk about some of the challenges that you've experienced within the industry mm -hmm. as a, a black female actress. Has it been challenging? What have you experienced that you wish to impart knowledge on to younger generations? You know, the art circle actually is about that. I know we're not there yet, but 18 years young in this field of work, there's a lot that has happened. There's a lot that one has seen. There's mm. a lot of people who came before me that I've worked with. There's a lot of things that I've, I've gotten to experience. Um, challenges is one of them. It's been amazing 
but it also has been challenging. Yeah. But did I have people to kind of sort of um, kind of take me the right way? I did. Did I have people to lean on the whole time? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Which was obviously, this. The, I, I cannot say this enough, family is important because, yeah. I mean, who else? Who else holds your hand when you're about to fall? Sure. But also colleagues, people that have been doing the thing that I do mm -hmm. that are ahead of me, most of them look back and they reach out a hand. Mm -hmm. So in those difficult times of being people there, but, but what is life without a challenge? <laughs> True. What is life True. without a challenge? True. So yeah, we could go on forever about the yeah. challenging parts, but I think ours is to create um, and fix the problems that we experience so that somebody else coming in next year doesn't have to go through all of that mm. that you went through. Mm. And I think that's a very important point because so often people don't have that support. Not everyone has a family that they can run back to. Mm -hmm. Not everyone has colleagues who they feel like they can trust. Mm -hmm. Was that an important aspect when sort of fostering this platform and, and, and planning? 100%. Mm. 100%. On my way here, I mean, I'm having dynamic uh, conversations with people who know what the art circle is about. And, and I, I was reminded about the fact that this is an, it's almost like an unfair advantage for the youth because they will be hearing firsthand from the people who play in the arts right now, people who are actors right now, musicians right now, sports people as the time goes on right now, which is something I didn't have. Yeah. I mean, if I'm, celeb if I'm saying I'm 18 years young in this field, 18 years ago, there was no podcast. Yeah. Social media artists. wasn't even really Social a thing. media wasn't there. If mm. Google was there, you, what would you Google? Where, where is the internet 18 yeah. years ago, you know, yeah. to say, how do I become an actress? And when I am an actress, what happens? How do I navigate the space? And I think it's important that the person that gets into the arts now does not have to suffer that the same much. things <laughs> that I it's may beautiful. have suffered It's beautiful that you're years willing ago. to share Absolutely. so much of your journey. So let's yeah. get into it. Yes. It's called The Art Circle. Uh -huh. You've been planning it for some time. Some time. Tell us about it. I mean, the art, I mean, I mean, the art circle is just this, it's, a, it's just this platform where artists get to speak firsthand about the experiences. You know, um, South Africa is getting into the fashion of celebrating people, and the Art Circle does that. Mm -hmm. It's a platform that celebrates who the artists are, celebrate their trajectory, ce celebrate where they come from and where they're going. Mm -hmm. But most importantly, a place for them to talk firsthand, mm -hmm. a place for the viewers to get to hear firsthand what Sikona is about, who she is about, but, but not just myself, my guests. Some of the legends of South Africa are on the table. Tell us who. I mean, we've got Tato Selo Maki Kangobe on the table. We've got Mamu Koni Chume. We've got ah. icons like Zolisa Kaluva. We've got Vuyo Mse from, from the Queen. We've got Smule Lekdili Chana. We've got Mbali, who's just like South Africa's sweetheart. And these are the people that I know firsthand. But as time goes, we're going to have a lot more. And on that table, on this table that we've already filmed, just the stuff that came out, mm. just hearing artists, it's almost like... We're letting the audience in on conversations that we have when behind there's no the scenes. behind the scenes. I love that. And it's done in such a beautiful fashion. Mm -hmm. We're not bashing anyone. We're not saying any negative things there. We're celebrating. It's a place of affirming the artist. I love that. And probably creating a fashion that we would like to see happen moving forward. Beautiful. So you've mentioned some legends in the industry. 100%. Talk to me about navigating the space and networking with these sort of people and creating a space where they are comfortable yes. to allow such conversations to happen with you. It doesn't just happen with anyone and everyone. You think? It is, yes, there has to be a certain level of trust, a yes. certain level of respect yes. for them to say, you know what, Zikona, I trust you enough to open myself up to you and have this candid conversation while the camera is recording. I think, again, I mean, we'll go back to this point about these are the conversations that we do have. Mm. So perhaps... But now it's public. But now it's, it's public. Not just There's us. a camera rolling. But again, they must trust me, right? The guests need to be able to say, okay, Zukona, we trust that you're not going to take us down the rabbit hole of doom. Mm -hmm. You know, you are correct about that. But I think, I, 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 like I, I say, I'm, I'm celebrating, I'm 18 years young in this field. That should give you some sort of idea about how I carry myself and who I think I am. You know, there is, in the arts, there is a beautiful air of camaraderie. Mm. 
That's what that's the arts that I know. That's that's the stardom that I know. I know teamwork and I know camaraderie. And that's the fashion that I, I host the show in and mm -hmm. I created the show in to say, you're welcome here, you're respected here, you are loved here. It's, it's not just people that are my only, only my friends. I, w I want to sit down. I mean, like I said, we're going to have sports people in the future. I don't even know a try <laughs> from a scrum. But Didn't you learn you know, something or two last weekend? <laughs> I, I mean, now I have an idea what is sort of an idea. Is. But I can't wait for the time when we're sitting down with sports stars and we yeah. get to hear from them firsthand what it was like, what it is like. Mm -hmm taboo conversations as well, like financial really? literacy. Which is so vital in the arts. I feel I like mean, that is something that so many people don't understand, just the importance of financial, of financial management, management when you are a freelancer specifically yes. in this industry. Yes. So imagine having that con conversation yeah. with somebody and saying, we understand that, you know, one of my favorite questions to ask is, when did you get your first million? <laughs> and there's always a pause before then. Because now they need to like, think. Hmm, do <laughs> artists share? make a million in South Africa? <laughs> do they? <laughs> do they? I don't know. You're going to have to tune in to find out, right? <laughs> yes, 100%. It's such an interesting... And, and, and again, it, it uh, normalizes the conversations that are supposed to be taboo and sure, wrong you know sure. it like money is not a dirty word we can talk about we it can talk especially about it. amongst peers and colleagues and those that know better can inform mm. and and impart knowledge and you, you certainly aren't supposed to walk away feeling the same when you've sat with people that you honor and respect i love that so zikona you you act you can sing uh, now you are producing. <laughs> yes, I has, am. has production and sort of <clears throat> being behind the scenes, but it's both because you're presenting the podcast as yes, well, right? So I you am. are both behind the scenes and, and in, in front, front of, of the, the, camera. the camera as well. But yeah. has producing always been something that you've wanted to get into? I, I think I'd be lying if I say producing is, is something, um, if I say it's not something I've been planning on doing. Even in, the, in, in scripted work, which is basically the, what we do, dramas and stuff like that. I mean, one wants to be creating the shows that they want to be part of, right? The more acting you do, the more you see, mm -hmm. the, the more you learn, the more stories you want to tell. And so it, it has become very natural for me to create the work that I want to see. Beautiful. Yeah. I, I want to talk about the rise of social media because earlier you spoke about 18 years, there wasn't even social media. You didn't even know what to Google 18 yeah. years ago. But now social media is such a big part of the industry. Mm -hmm. So many people use it as a platform to elevate themselves mm -hmm. to su superstardom and to make millions, the millions mm -hmm. that we've just spoken Thank about. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> For you, uh, that transition from where you started to how things have evolved and changed now, how have you navigated that? Hmm. We're going to need more time. <laughs> um, I love the fact that there are more points of entry now. It's beautiful that now there's no strict door that one must enter in order to get into the arts. Mm. The because, gatekeepers can be bypassed. You know what I mean? I mean, with one door comes a big dog that's standing at the door, making sure that people don't enter. Mm -hmm. So the, the mm -hmm. different ports of entry now are, are, are platforms for people to enter this thing that they want to, to, to be part of. Mm -hmm. So we're grateful for social media, but each blessing with its curse, right? Because every single beautiful thing that comes, comes with its misfortunes, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And we're not talking about those right now. We're just talking about, we're just talking about the opportunities it has created. Sure. And most especially making the world a lot smaller. I mean, a, a musician now can make a song and Didi can hear it. I mean, we know how many South African musicians are 100%. crossing the borders now and making international music because of social media. Sure. This does apply to filmmaking as well. Now, I, my favorite producer can see me and say, oh, wow, I can reach out to a director. I can reach out to a production anywhere in the globe whatsoever. So each platform that is presented to human beings, human beings need to understand that let's apply this to our advantage. Mm -hmm. So that there are plenty of advantages there. And of course, there still are some rules that we can adhere to, each to their own. But we adhere to the rules. We take what works. We apply it to the new technology. We take over the world. We've been saying, I've been saying, national stories, world stages. It's time for that. 100%. And we're seeing that happen in real time, which I absolutely in, love. In real time. <laughs> so, is it going to tell us where do we watch? How do we watch? How do we support you? When is this all happening? Give us the details. So, from the 7th of November, yes, I'm correct. The 7th of November, 
the art circle drops on YouTube. Mm -hmm. It's called the art circle on Ziso TV. So you kind of search the art circle dash Ziso TV and, and it, it will take up. you to the art circle. And my page has it, Zikona Solaga, every social media page takes you straight to the art circle page. So the art circle exists on, on, on Facebook, on Instagram, um, and it, it takes you straight to YouTube. So we're just like, we put it on YouTube so that everyone can access it. I'm obsessed with the opportunity that the 10 year old, the 15 year old, the 25 year old, the 55 year old has to just go on YouTube and watch their favorite stars talking yeah. about the arts. At any time that they At want. At any time, <laughs> as long as there's data. You're good. 100%. Sikola, <laughs> thank you very much for joining us, for sharing in your journey, and I wish you all of the best with your podcast and everything else that you are going to achieve in the future. Thank you, well. Abigail. My thank you so much. My pleasure. My pleasure. Well, that was actress and host of the, the brand new podcast titled Art Circle Zikona Sodlaka, uh, joining us here to chat a little bit about her journey, and I hope you will subscribe and catch up with her on YouTube. But still to come on,